because these the brothers that's outside, that's on the pavement, where you can reach out and touch them. These are not internet fucking Hebrew Israelites, okay? Like a lot of these clowns. They are internet Hebrew Israelites, that's it. They are not in the highways and the byways, as the Most High tells you to be in the goddamn highways and the byways and raise your damn voice like a trumpet to reach the masses of our people. And y'all niggas are not doing that. You are internet fake ass Hebrew Israelites. And that's why I always make my distinction. I always say not all. Which are who? Read on. Which are who? Slacker. Which are Israelites? Well, who? Who are well, Israelites? Well, who? who are Israelites? Well, he's directing this to Israelites. Read on. To whom pertaineth the adoption uh -huh. and the glory and the glory and the covenant and the what? And, and the, the covenant. Nah, but you said the covenants were for everyone. He said it pertains only to the Israelites. Read. Right, that's right. And the giving of the law. Read. And the service of the of God. Now watch this. Read it. And the promises. Uh -huh. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh. And whom concerning the flesh, what? Christ came. Christ what? Christ, Christ came. came. Give me Hebrews nine and fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nine and fifteen. Okay, come. Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter nine and verse fifteen. Bring it out. And for and for this cause. And for this cause, read. He is the mediator of the New Testament. Of the New Testament, like you said, of what? That by means of death, him dying, read, for the redemption uh -huh. of the transgressions. For the redemption of the transgressions. For who? That were under the first testament. Who were under the first testament? You said it out of your own mouth. The new t uh, Old Testament were the Israelites. So yeah. the New Testament is actually saying the opposite of what you're saying. It's saying the, the New Covenant, it's still for the children of Israel, read. They which are called uh -huh. might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Understand this, that in the Christian church, they're gonna tell you that the children of Israel, you guys are in covenant and that you guys are spiritual Israel. That is, that is a lie. Yeah. Israel needs to come back. And once they come back, the world will be at peace. And then Christ is gonna come back and kill our enemies. But until that day comes, and you guys are living in a lie, and not reading this Bible the way it's supposed to be read. That's right. What's going to happen? What do you have to say about uh, access Yeah. What about it? Uh, of course. Okay. Oh, you tell me. You tell me. So, Since you brought it up. He don't want it. Absolutely. Or, yeah, I'll give it to him. He don't want it. You, you, you say he was a Gentile. Well, Gentile, give me give me Gentile in uh, in the Bible, is on a Bible dictionary. Yeah. yeah. You, it, this is not a Bible. This is a dictionary. This is the Zonovan Bible Dictionary, brother. You know what you gotta do? You gotta you gotta read that, bro. That's right, man. You gotta read the words. You gotta check the dis definition of things. Bring it bro. out. It's not a Bible. It's a dictionary. So we could look up words that are in the Bible. Okay, come, come. Okay, watch this. Watch this. This is the book. This is the compact Zonovan. Valuable compact dictionary. Right. We're looking at the word Gentiles. Right. It says usually. What? Usually. Usually. It means a non-Israelite people. Uh huh. So now it says it usually means a non-Israelite people. So my argument is not everywhere where it says Gentile it means another nation. It also means the, an Israelite who was Hellenistic or in Grecian or Roman captivity just like we are today go ahead Art, come on figure it out the book of first corinthians chapter 12 verse 2 he know you know that ye were gentile you were what gentile you were gentiles read carried away unto these dumb idols oh we know that gentiles worship idols but these were once gentiles who is he speaking to israelites Right, go ahead. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. But for remember that he being in times past, Gentiles, what? Gentiles, what? Gentiles in the flesh, in the what? In the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the 
circumcision. So now Israelites were calling other Israelites who were not circumcised, who didn't follow the customs of Israel, Gentiles. Y'all understand? So now you, you brought up a John 3.16, right? Let me ask you a question. What does John 14 say? John 3.14. Yeah, in that verse. Do you know? Um, I probably wanted to start talking about it. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it, that's funny because everybody who ever brings up John 3 16, they can never bring up what 14 says. Well, tell me what 14 I could tell you what 14 says, but not only that, brother, I could also give you what the actual chapter is talking about. And we can grab that breakdown for you. So now, this is Jesus Christ talking to Nicodemus, right? Now, give me that in John 3. You there? Give me, give me verse 1. The book of John. Chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, uh -huh. a ruler of the Jews. Hey, Who? A ruler, ruler of, of the Jews. Jew. We agree that Nicodemus was a Jew, right? Okay, go ahead, read. The same came to Christ by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Hey, what? What? We know that thou art a teacher come from God. So now this is Nicodemus believing in Christ. He believed in Christ. He said, we know that you're a teacher from God because he believed in him. So not all the Jews did not believe in Christ. They believed in him, but some didn't. Some didn't believe till after. That's why you see the ministry of Paul, Peter, right? And, and, and the, the apostles and the work that they did. That's why we're here doing the same work. We teach that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that you see on this sign are the Israelites. That's right. You see, in the church that they taught you from, they're teaching you that blacks, Hispanics are Gentiles, when in actuality they're not. They come from the seed of Israel. Right. right? So now uh, Nicodemus is talking to, to, to Jesus. And now watch this, read. That for no man can do these miracles that thou dost, except God be with him. Right, read. Jesus answered and said unto him, right. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So now, do you guys, you guys both agree this is a conversation between two men, correct? So now, who's the two men? Perfect, okay. So now, with that understanding, let's grab verse 14. Give me 14. John, verse 14. Uh -huh. And as Moses... As what? As Moses... So now, this is Christ speaking. He says, as Moses, read. Hmm. Lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, uh -huh. even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So now, watch, read. That whosoever... Now what? That whosoever... So now, when Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, who did he lift it up to? Thank you. That who? That whosoever. So the whosoever is Israel. It's literally saying it. That's right. Read. <laughs> Believeth in him uh -huh. should not perish but have eternal life. Now give me Acts 2 and 20. Watch this. Watch this. This is the whosoever. Right? This Acts 2 and 20. This is the book of Acts. Chapter 2, verse 20. Uh -huh. And it reads. Wow. Continue. Yep. The sun shall be turned into dark. Yeah. No, no, no. Wrong one. Two verse twenty. Slack you. The sun shall. No, no, no. It's twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So now, whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right? Is that what it says? Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Keep reading. Ye men of Israel. Ye men of who? Ye men of Israel. This is what the Bible says. Now watch this. Jump up to verse 10. Verse 10. Teach up. Uh, Braga and Pamphia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews. It's like it. Verse 5. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews. Who? Jews. Who? Jews, devout men, devout men, like you said in Cornelius, he was a devout man. Correct. All right, read. Out of every nation, uh, what? Out of every, every nation, Jews out of every nation, read. Under the sun. So now, when Peter was talking, he was talking to who? Israelites, and he said, "Whosoever, 
You can read it, brother, yourself. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, if if if, if, I, if I could, I mean, I, would, I address your points. I would love for my points to be addressed. Because, you know, like, like, I'm sorry? Well, well, uh, well, I mean, there isn't much dialogue that you see that yelling at us. You, you, you feel like you're being yelled at, brother? I mean, I feel Is that wow. what you feel like? Wow. I mean, I mean, do you feel hurt? I mean, you know, the Bible says to cry and spread. I, I mean, we can hug it out, brother. You're my bro. I don't want to hurt your feelings either, bro, you know? All right. Absolutely. I, I would love my points to be addressed, but if 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 you want to respond, brother, go ahead. Because this is what we can't do, and I'm, I'm going to be frank with you. I'm not new to this, okay, as you can see, right? But one thing y'all never do is address the points. Y'all go to other scriptures and say this is what it means. I addressed your scriptures. That's right. So now go ahead and, and your point, sir. Okay. So the point that you made was that whosoever means Real quick. Well, real quick, did, did I say that or did the scripture Woo! say that? I did not compare. The scripture said, whosoever ye men of Israel. That's what the scripture Bring them out! Brother, you show them the scripture. I, I, I think I'm lying. <laughs> ye men of Israel. That's right. Two separate scriptures. Two separate scriptures? Is that but, not the same context? And, and we, no. even, we even went to verse 5. We, we even went to verse 5. But, but it, it's the same context. Is that not a conversation? Hear these things? What are they hearing? That whosoever. Wow. Wow. Come on. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What, where in Ephesians speak do you want me to read, brother? Verse 1. Okay, verse 1 and what? Verse 1, you can go down to verse 7. Okay, cool. Let's, let's, let's we're gonna read that. We're going to have you break it down. And then from there, we're going to have you break it down. Well, then we'll, from there, we'll, well, well, well look, well, this is what we're not going to do. We're not going to just read. You're going to, you brought out the scripture. and we'll break, break it out! Edify us. Who got, who got it? You got it? I'm not going to make another point. I'm not going to make another point. Just okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Where, where's your church, by the way? What church are you? Where is that? Reverend Tamabay. Is that a, what that one denomination is? Pentecost. Okay, great. It, for us, they're all the same. Okay, but, but hold on, hold on. Here's my question for you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So, with all this information you got here, what is, like, y'all coming out here and everything, what is the purpose? Like, what is the main goal? Like, if people, like, getting the message. What, well, if, if we, we explained that, but if I could, can I address his Ephesians and then... Uh, we don't want to take because you, you're taking up his space. See, bro, brother, he, he just got to be in order, man. Now. Come on, no man. order, man. Oh, no order, treating like a second class town citizen, man. man. Bro. Bring it out. Go ahead. Go, three, three, three and one, right? Okay, three, one through seven. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, that's a lot of reading. I know they like to read a lot. They like to read. Oh, but, but, okay, we're gonna, we gonna bring it down. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter three. Verse 1 through 7. We! This cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Yahweh Shah, Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the deception of the grace, these dispensations, block your reading fast, of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery. As I wrote a four in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should fellow hearers and of the same body, and for partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of grace of God given unto me by the 
effectual work, working of his power. So the point that I'm trying to make here, fellow heirs, if Paul and everyone's already talking about an heir being what, like you said, the children of Israel, fellow heirs must mean a different group outside of that group that we were initially talking about. Absolutely. Which tells me yeah. that us Gentiles, that means everyone you, else. You're calling yourself a Gentile? Absolutely. Okay. Come on, come on, Bishop. Probably. Go ahead, go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. Any Gentile, anyone outside of the true heirs, yeah. can also receive eternal life, can also receive everything that was promised to us by Abraham. Okay. So, so, so let me let me ask you this real quick, and we're gonna we're gonna respond, and when we respond, we respond with scripture. Okay. Please. So now, when it says fellow heirs, the information we brought out that only the covenants, only the promises, everything was made only for the Israelites. You read it in Romans nine, right? Then we read that when ye in past times were Gentiles. Then we read in the dictionary where it said Gentiles sometimes are called gentiles can also be called israelites you're using this verse to say it only means other nations so for some odd reason every i'm, I'm gonna go back to what i said in the beginning before you brought this verse you never addressed the scriptures we brought up right but go ahead ephesians chapter 3 uh -huh. verse 6 Bring it out that the gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body. You say what? Of the same, same body, body. And partakers of his promise in Christ of by the gospel. So now the promise, give me that in, in Romans 9. Right. Wait, wait. Yes. Okay, God. Definition of same body. Right. Belonging to the same body, metaphorically the same church. You say what? Same church. So now watch this. Give me that. Oh, you want me to start at just chapter 3? Yeah. Verse 3. Uh, this is the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 3. Right. For I wish, I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren. The same author that from Ephesians 3. My kinsmen. My kinsmen. According to the flesh. Can you read it? Who are Israelites. Read on. To whom pertaineth the adoption, the adoption and, the glory, and the glory and the covenant and the, covenant, and the giving of the law and the, of the, law, and the service of God mm -hmm. and the promises. And the promises read on. Who are the fathers? Who are the what? Who are the fathers uh -huh. and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came? There is no contradiction Woo! when it comes to the Bible. <laughs> We're saying the Israelites in Ephesians, in Ephesia were Israelites, right? Watch this. Go ahead. Read what you got. Etymology of same body. Outline biblical usage. Italic three is used of a large or small number of men closely united into one society or family, uh -huh. as it were a social, ethical. Let me read it again. Ethical. Right. Let me read it again. Ethical, mm. mystical body. Right, so the same, same nation, same body, same family, ethnicity, ethnicity. What does that mean for me? Huh? What does that mean for me? I'll show you. Give me, give me, uh, give me Isaiah fourteen. Bring it out. And then, and then give me, uh, give me uh, Romans thirteen and ten. Fourteen and one. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob. This is future prophecy. The, mercy, the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Read. And will yet choose Israel right. and set them in their own land. Isn't that the promise of God that the Israelites will go into their, in their own kingdom? In the land of Canaan. Isn't that the promise of God? Isn't that future prophecy? So this is future prophecy, right? Or did they teach you that in the... the I'm asking you. Have the Israelites gone into Canaan at that point in time? At this point? No, this is future. That's why it's called future prophecy. That's right. It's called future in the futuro. Right? Go ahead. <laughs> and I will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the stranger. And the who? The stranger. 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 Read. 
shall be joined with them. You're going to be joined with us, man. Oh, great. So you see? That just, there we go. Awesome. awesome. See? Look, look. look. So the he, he was getting mad. I was not getting mad. He was getting mad. So he was like, don't you talk to my Billy like that. <laughs> but we're going to continue reading. Go ahead. Read out. Read out. The stranger shall be joined with them. You're going to be joined with Israel, man. That's great. Oh, right? Man. They were, they were worried. You're going to make it. They were worried. <laughs> Watch this. And they shall cleave for you. to the house of Jacob. Wow. You're going to cleave to Jacob. Yeah. Right? Because Jacob, the Israelites, are going to teach the nations how to truly serve God. Read. Verse 2. And the people shall take them. The what? And the people shall take them. The people of Israel shall take them. Read. And bring them. Uh-huh. To their place. Right. Because you guys, watch America doesn't belong it. to the white man. Get uh, Europe doesn't belong to the white man. Uh, Australia doesn't belong to the white man. We know we are. Ooh, Read. This is fire. And the house of Israel shall possess them. So when you possess something, what is that? You own it, right? <laughs> Would you agree? <laughs> so we're going to own y'all. Read. That's right. Israel shall possess them. In the land of the Lord for servants wow. and handmaids. Servants and handmaids. Ooh. Servants. You're going to be a can't, servant in the kingdom. Can't make this up. And they shall take them captive. Take them captives, read. Whose captives they it were. Was. Whose captives we were. There you go. Come. There you go, Billy. That's what the Bible says. That's right. What the Bible says. At least he got it. At least he got it. You gotta love him. That's right. Oh my word, brother. I think I'll say this: is we could go back and forth in dialogue. Sure. I think one thing that I noticed that you guys do is, which is why I had you read Ephesians one, sorry, one through seven. Right? Yes, we do a lot of reading here. Because mm -hmm. many times what happens is you can take one scripture, take it out of context, and then from there you can form your own theology. Like John 3.16. Right. Or like John 3.16. <laughs> <laughs> <Because, laughs> like y'all said about John 3.16. But go ahead, go ahead. It's not just John 3.16. Or Acts 2. Or Acts 2. Or Acts 2. Or Acts 2. Out of the mouth of, out of the mouth. Or two or three witnesses. Witness Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Which is why it's not just where What did Christ say? The Bible says what? Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. No, he said, he said, I've only come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. Oh, okay. He so, said that out of his own mouth. That's right. Oh, so, yeah. So, so, so let me tell y'all something. He, he, they, they, every knee's going to bow, brother. That's every right. knee's going to bow. Yes, that, I, I, no matter, no matter what race. I, However, from the beginning, from Adam until the beginning of the end of this world, Israel got next. That's right. Israel got next. The Bible says so. You know why? Because God said so. That's right. Okay. God says so. Straight cut. Right, so back to my like original. Question. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So, so knowing all this, like, what's like, what's the purpose? What's the like? What's y'all's mission? Like, what are you out here to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Isaiah fifty-eight. This is what we're out here to do. Figure it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, in verse 1. Read. Cry aloud. What? Cry, Cry aloud. Spare not. not. Lift up thy voice like, like a, a trumpet. trumpet. Huh? And shoot. And do what? And shoot. shoot. And show. Read. My people. Who's people? My, My people. people. Our people. Read. Their transgression. That's what we're here. Okay. Woo. Absolutely. We're, we're just, we're the sowers of the word. That's Quick right. question. Was Christ uh, black or white? Neither. He was neither, really. Bring it out. He was Israeli. So, what, what is an Israeli? An Israeli didn't exist in the time of Jesus. An Israelite so existed in the church. I've, I've so now, if I could, real quick, <laughs> so if, I could, if I could, give me That's Proverbs twenty-eight and one. That's so now, so now, Christ, according to the Bible, had woolly hair. Yeah. White woolly hair. Then he had. Yeah, exactly. That's called the. Um, that's called the transfiguration. That, that is called that his image. Did, yeah. did he have holes in his hands or not? The Bible never mentions it. Oh, Ooh, go ahead, Bishop. Get it. We're going to cut Come these up. We're going to cut them up. Come on, Bishop. Wicked. Wicked. Downing Thomas. Downing Thomas. Ooh, it's okay. Woo. I'm telling you. Wait. 
when Jesus came for us from the dead, he ascended to the Father and then came down to earth. Absolutely. And the disciples, yes. Absolutely. He had, he had okay, so, so he, had a, he had a physical uh, depiction yes. of himself. Okay, great. Okay, we're, give me. We're give talking me. two different things. We're talking about okay. Revelation. Right, right. We're talking uh, while he, but, he was here. But, but, but he had a depiction of himself, right? Yes. And then the people that were there in that area, that's a hot area, isn't it? And it's right, literally, you can say it's the, the, the template of Africa, right? Yeah. You can say the template of Africa. That's right. Africans are what? Oh, not all Africans. Not all Africans. Have you, but have you been to North Africa before? I have not been to North Africa. He has. Yeah. It, like, yeah, it, it, I've been Arabs. To seven countries of Africa. Yeah. But in the north of Africa, people more look like your complexion. Honest, yeah, with curly hair. absolutely. Most Africans, which would make crazy. sense, make perfect sense. Yeah. So, you know why? Because we were in the Syrian captivity for 400 years. Okay. That's why. May I, may I, go ahead, go ahead. may I continue? Why is it that the Roman army had to find someone and point out who Jesus was? I know because he looked like everyone else. What does everyone else mean? Everyone else in that general region. Hold on. You, you, you mean you mean he, he looked like a Caucasian? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not no, saying he looked like a Caucasian. Oh, he, he, did he look dark or did he look light skinned? He looks like you. He looks like you. Okay, so he, he looked light, right? He looked a bit lighter, yeah. You got proof of that? Well, let's look at the general map of the area. Let, let's look. Let's look at the people of this day. Okay, okay but, but why don't why don't brother? What? Listen, listen. Seriously. Seriously, why don't we do this? Why don't we pick up the Bible and read it? That's How about right. That? Y'all say you read a lot, right? You read Revelation 1 and 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 14, right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out! His head. His what? His, his head. head. So now this is uh, uh, John. He's saying his head, read. And his hair. And his hair. So his head and his hairs were what? Were white like wool. So wool is what, brother? Mm. Woolly hair. Oh, my. This is a red hair. Okay. What, what, hey, let's, does the Bible say what here? Let's read a description what, what, of him while he was yeah. on earth with a yeah, He was on earth. <laughs> he was on earth. <laughs> yeah, in the book of Revelation. Where, where, where did he give me, give me verse Don't 10. Worry give, me verse 10. Give, me, was, give me verse 10. Verse, Pray it out. Verse, verse 10. Verse 10. Stay in the spirit. I was in the spirit. In the spirit. So now in the spirit means what? In the spirit. In the spirit. In the spirit. Means what? The definition. Not, not, I give you my definition. Give me yours. He's not in the natural, my friend. Hell no. Go ahead. <laughs> I was in the spirit of the Lord. Y'all believe in Santa Claus? Y'all believe in Santa Claus? Y'all probably believe in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, don't All right, you? guys. Go ahead, go ahead. I was in the spirit uh -huh. on the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard behind me. But how can he be in a, in a spiritual realm on the Lord's day, which is the Sabbath day? Y'all cut already. Go ahead. Okay. And heard behind me. And the what? And heard behind me. But he was in the spiritual realm and he heard. Read. Behind me, a great voice as a as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest. What thou what? What thou uh, seest. See what thou what? What, what thou seest. Thou see You're in the spiritual realm. You can't see anything. What? What thou seest. What thou seest. Do what? Write in a book. Write, do what? Write, write in, in a book. book. Now you got to write what you see. Now read verse 14. Verse 14, his hair, his, what? His, his, head. his head, and his hair were white, white like, like wool, wool. As white as snow. As white as snow, so woolly hair, mm -hmm. and now those people that you're you're asking do not have woolly hair, but he did. Uh, Read. Yeah. And his feet, sorry, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, uh -huh. and his feet, and his what? And his, his feet. feet. I can see your feet, I can see what color you are, Read. Right. What as, uh, sorry, and his feet. Like unto fine brass. Brass is brown. Read. As if they burnt in a furnace. As if they what? As if, if they, they burnt in the furnace. I'm going to write a piece of paper and burn it. It's going to turn dark. So that light complexion theory was just, the Bible says, no, 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 no. No, no, no. What, what is it? What is that? The basketball player says, no, 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 no. Not in my house. Matumbo. You got a matumbo. Go ahead. I'll read this in the NIV. Y'all guys read the NIV. No, no. Actually, no. We don't. Okay, what do you read? KJV? Okay, so read 1611. Grab the, they have the apocryphal books in there. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. We, we teach it, so go ahead. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll teach it. Bring it out. In the book of John, chapter 20, Woo! verse 24. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with him when Jesus came. 
Verse 25. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen. Yeah, what? We have, we have seen, seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see his hands, the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Right. Verse 26. And eight days after, again, his disciples were again within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Right. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold thy hand, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. Be not faithless, but believe. Right. So that was his physical form. He showed him his physical form. And then he ascended back to to, to heaven. I, you, you, look, you look really bored, man. You look really, are you okay?